Jungle Time in the Captain's Comedy Clubhouse. And once again, live and in person from Cedar Point, Safari Island, and the International Zoological Society, uh, Jungle Larry. No, that's, that's not that's me. Not Jungle Larry. Our old pal Jungle Larry over there. Hi, Jungle Larry. Hi. Captain Penny was an instant success with the kids. His real name was Ron Penfound, and along with his daily kid shows, Penfound could be seen and heard every day on WEWS as announcer and sometimes weatherman. Penfound named himself the captain by mistake, not realizing the person in charge of a train was the conductor. But the name Captain Penny stuck, and during his kid shows, one of the captain's most popular guests was a character who called himself Jungle Larry. You know what my school teacher used to tell me, Mr. Captain Penny? What, what in the world is going on? One of our cameramen, Brinkman Dick Sweeney's wife, gave birth to a baby Sunday, a little girl. Yeah. And he gave me a cigar, and he's oh. going after the cigar. No, you know, no, no, you don't, no, no, you're no. two and a half years old. You don't smoke cigars unless they're made of chocolate candy. Jungle Larry would, at the end, when Captain stopped wearing his uniform, would tape his pieces. And he'd bring in a bunch of animals who would sit in what is now the newsroom. Rudy, how about a little dance? An old African dance. You ready? Oh, what's in J? What's in J? What's in J? Oh, oh, right now, my yakuza Oh, what's in J? What's in J? What's in J? That's an old African folk song. <laughs> 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 oh, really? <laughs> you can fool me. <laughs> we have a sequence from an old captain's comedy clubhouse where Larry has a cat in a cage. He's one of the world's vanishing animals, and if you mothers would quit buying fur coats, this animal would have a chance to live. So, while you see this piece, what you're not aware of is at the end of every segment, uh, and the segments would last, you know, maybe four or five minutes. An African farm. <laughs> Oh, that was a good one. Now, let me... Yeah, this is Jungle Larry, your friend. Remember me? Yeah, he remembers me. You hear him say hello? Larry reaches in to try to get this cat out. Finally, the cat cuts his hand wide open. He hides the hand behind his back, and he's bleeding all over the place. And goes, well, is this jungle drums I'm hearing? Which means, this segment's over, pals. I'm bleeding. William Gawas, Wananiki, Mumboko, Tuwani. All right. All right. Jungle Larry, we're just... Do you hear jungle drums? <laughs> no, I don't. That must be your heart beating. Your heart beating. Thank goodness it's still beating. Oh, yes, Dindy and Charlie's still a good straight for. man, I'll tell you. Mr. Jingling, hear him jingling, keeper of the keys. Each key on his finger, he plays a story queen all about the Christmas tree. Hi there, boys and girls. Well, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas since Ollie and I finished decorating. Every year at Christmas time, one of Santa's elves named Mr. Jingling would travel to Cleveland from the North Pole, setting up shop on Halley's seventh floor and WEWS. I wonder who this helper is. Oh, my. Oh, dear. Oh, Ollie. Stand back. Look out. Oh, no. I mean, James, what just been rolling on a spaceship? I, I think it was a penguin. Penguins can't fly, Jeans. How are you? Uh, the way you came zooming through here, I thought maybe you might get hurt. Oh, hi, I'm, I'm fine. It's much more than fun celebrating with the chum when you're together for Christmas. Friends at home, can you see the flag? Then all together we'll say, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. From 1958 to 1971, Romper Room with Miss Barbara was a daily routine for toddlers and for their moms every morning on WEWS. I was not a certified teacher. I was working toward being a teacher when we lived in Massachusetts. But then we moved to Cleveland and the romper room opportunity came along and so I was a romper room teacher. We're going to put thinking caps on, friends at home. Remember how we talked about words that rhyme? 
What are words that rhyme? We involved the children in the format. It wasn't something that they just sat and watched. It was something we encouraged them to play the games with us, to help read the books with us, to do the counting, to be part of it. I'd like us to do it this way, please. With one hand. Oh, you can, Mark. Very good. Very nice, Joe. The magic mirror. Well, that was an integral part of the show. And this is the magic mirror. And I'm going to look for my friends at home. So I'll say romper, bumper, stomper, boo. Tell me, tell me, tell me, do. Magic mirror, tell me. Did all my friends have fun with me? Did all our friends have fun with us today? I hope so, because, yeah, because I see my friend Kenny, and there's Linda and Laura. I see Gordon and Diana and David and Philip. And this was very important to these children. And this was a very, very good audience builder. Mothers would write in children's names if they were ill, if they were having a birthday. There's Sue and Debbie and Bernice and Cindy, Jack and Patricia and Bradley. Well, there's Kevin, and there's that Stephen, yes it is. And there's Laurie and Lee. And in the midst of trying to control young children during a live TV show, Miss Barbara also had to deal with a studio crew that liked to have their fun, too. I used to keep the, the names of the children on a piece of paper, and that was so if... I ran out of thought process names like Susie, Johnny, etc. I could read them from a piece of paper to try to get in as many names as possible. And they would hold it upside down or behind them or, you know, just fun stuff like that. Today, Miss Barbara Plummer is an active grandmother who also serves on the boards of several local organizations. Sadly, Ron Penfound passed away in 1971 from cancer. And that was Earl Keyes, by the way, who played Mr. Jingling after Max Ellis passed away. Today, Earl is retired and devotes much of his time to his family. Coming up next, when we come back, WEWS makes news. Every night at 6 and 11. But first, here are some more of our favorite news.